in this video we will again analyze the steel rod the rod will have a supporting face which will be a fixed support and it will be loaded at the loading phase now instead of force we will apply the displacement and we will back, back calculate the force the diameter will be 0.02 meter and length will be 0.3 meter in this case we will use the stress strain curve as shown in this figure the first initial slope will be defined by the modulus of elasticity that is e and the slope after the yield point will be given by d sigma ipsi like before we'll again use diffy material gc because it is easy to use this command the values will be as shown here okay let's get started first let's make a new file and we go to the geometry menu we pick up the cylinder tools to create a steel rebar of 0.01 meter radius and height of 0.3 meter next we'll make couple of groups that will be used to create mesh later first will be the loading face it is a group of face plane element can add it next make let's make group of support let's call it support face we need to rotate the view to select the support next let's make the group of whole steel rod this should be a 3d element not 2d that's all let's go to the zone mesh module first let's create the mesh to keep things simple we'll use the default net 1g 2d 3d we forgot to put the geometry let's select the geometry that is cylinder one apply it now let's compute the mesh let's rename the mesh to steel bar mesh now let's create the groups from create group from geometry menu for elements we select all three now this time we'll also make group for nodes for the loading phase that will be used to calculate the reaction forces in later stage let's check it seems everything is perfect now let's go to the asterisk study and before that we need we may save the file yeah let's now go to the asterisk study let's add a stage first as usual we need to read the mesh then we'll define the finite element type this case will apply everywhere the phenomena of mechanic and will use 3d element everywhere now let's define the material using diffy material gc let's use acer which means the steel with young modulus of 200 gigapascal and illustrious of 400 megapascal let's keep position ratio of 0.3 now also here we also define d sigma ipsi let's keep it the value of 
100 to the power 8 let's rename the material as steel now let's assign it we'll assign everywhere because this is only the element we have in this model now let's define the function first let's define the load multiplier function the parameter will be time our coordinates will have a 0 0 and stand 1 will be 1 let's have interpolation of linear and for extrapolation and in left and right side we will be using linear we now need to define list r let's pass at 1 with total step of 100 now let's apply the boundary condition first let's define the support group of limits will be the support face let's fix the support face similarly let's again define the load this time we will apply the displacement instead of force in the z direction let's apply displacement of 1 to the power minus 5 meters group of elements will be the loading fish let's rename the load as load displacement now let's do the static nonlinear analysis let's select the load that is support and the next load will be the load itself which is a displacement with the multiplier function now we'll define the compartment the relation will be bone mesh cine line this will account for the strain hardening of steel We'll assign elastic method for convergence we'll give criteria of 1 to the power minus 3 note that this will be in newton so it's quite low so it should be okay and the maximum iteration let's keep 200 that's all we forgot to put the time stepping the least zeros should be okay now let's do some post processing first let's calculate some field using calcium mainly the reaction force using the analysis part let's rename at react reaction now let's post this thing in a table format result of region nl as you notice there is no group of nodes available here for that let's go back to the mesh module and copy the name of the nodes that is the node on the loading surface and paste it here Note that sometimes this will disappear, but sometimes is okay. We'll use the direction of Z. 
the operation will be the extraction. Extraction means it will sum up the reaction force of all the nodes. Uh, we also need to change it to the reaction component instead of the main analysis file. That's all we'll need. Should be okay now. Now let's write the output using impress table. Note that we didn't use the set output result because we need only the tabular format now. Let's name the table as table one. Let's use separator with a comma so that it can be easily e exported to Excel file. That should be okay. Let's save the file and let's run it. It will take a while to run. I am fast forwarding the part. The table one, that is the output, has all the components, mainly the force. Let's copy this into Excel. By using uh, text column feature of Excel, let's divide the data. Let's see what the DZ graph will look like. DZ means the force in Z direction. As we can see here, the display, the force increases gradually, then doesn't increase so much after reaching the yield point. The DZ is the reaction force on the loading phase. For regarding displacement, it is the product of the applied displacement and the time instant. So it will be time instant multiplied by one exponential minus five that we had applied in codaster. Now to make the displacement load curve, we should change the x axis. We select the displacement in the x axis and that, that's the load displacement curve. Thank you for watching this tutorial.